السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مشاهدين الأعزاء الطلبة طالبات مساق علم الأدوية للتمريض أهلا وسهلا بكم في فيديو متجدد بنناقش في مالتيبل تشايز كوستشنز خاصة بموضوع الأنتي فانجل دراكس واللي هو بعنوان فارماكوثيرابي أوف فانجل انفكشنز نستعرض هذه المجموعة من المالتيبل تشايز كوستشنز ونشوف لترو أنسرز Uh, or the best answers for these questions. Uh, the first question uh, say a patient is admitted to intensive care unit for systemic fungal infections. Amphotericin B has been ordered and the nurse will administer this drug slowly IV intravenous. When administered too rapidly, amphotericin B may cause what significant adverse effects? Select all that apply. There are more than one answer, and we will try to answer these questions. The first answer is laryngeal spasms, or second option, hypotension, and the third option, hypokalemia, and the fourth option is shock. Fifth option is hypoglycemia. The answers of this question are option number two, hypotension, option number three, hypokalemia, and option number four, shock. Because when administered, when administered too rapidly, amphotericin B may cause hypotension, hypokalemia, and shock while option one and five are incorrect. Let us see the second question. A patient with AIDS has been given a prescription for oral fluconazole, diflucan, to prevent candida infection. Considering the patient's primary diagnosis and the order for fluconazole, what essential Essential teaching will the nurse provide? The first one, keep a food, dairy, and request anti nausea medication if eating becomes problematic, or maintain regular low impact exercise daily to avoid loss of muscle spasm. Third option, wear a high filtration mask if going out in public, or the last, Avoid all fat paste soups and allow the body to air dry after bathing. The correct answer is number one. Keep a food, dairy, and request anti nausea medication of eating become problematic because patients who are take fluconazole may experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Additional intake is especially important to maintain optimum health in patients with AIDS. Keeping a food diary uh, will assist the provider in determining overall calorie and fluid intake. anti nausea medication may be helpful in this case if nausea or vomiting is severe, while options two and three are incorrect. The third question, Nistatin, or trade name mycostatin suspension has been ordered for treatment of thrush, oropharyngeal candida, in a six-week-old infant. What instructions should the caregiver receive? Select all that apply. The first option, give the infant small amount of water after feeding and before the drug to rinse the mouth, or Using an applicator or syringe, distribute the solution around the mouth and tongue, allowing the infant to swallow the remainder. Third option, shell the suspension in the refrigerator before giving for bitter taste. Fourth option, give the suspension before feeding the infant to prevent adverse GI effects. And the last option, add the suspension and bottle to formula for easier administration. The correct answers are option number one and option number two. 
unless otherwise directed by the provider, small amounts of water after feeding will rinse the mouth of milk proteins and sugars that can provide an ideal medium for candida to grow. The suspension should be applied to all surfaces of the mouth and tongue by a syringe or applicator, and the infant should swallow the remainder to breed possible GI candida, while option three, four, and five are incorrect. Now the fourth question, the nurse is caring for a patient with onychomycosis, it's nail fungus, who is receiving oral terbinafine, lamizil, to treat for treatment. The patient questions the need for three months worth of pills. What the nurse best response in this case? The first option, the healthcare provider will evaluate the nurse monthly and stop treatment area if wanted, or it is cheaper to buy more pills at one time than one man a monthly schedule, or the extensive prescription avoids the need for shorter term, potentially toxic doses, and the last option, nails grow slowly and the nail beds must receive adequate length of treatment to eliminate the infection. The last one is the best, the correct. Nails grow very slowly and lengthy treatment may be required to adequately treatment the infection, while options one, two, and three are incorrect. The question number five, the nurse knows that pre-treatment with corticosteroid, antihistamines, and antibiotics prior to the administration of Tercine B is given for what effect? Let us see. One, they enhance the effectiveness of amphotericine B, or they eliminate toxic byproducts of amphotericine B, or they reduce the severity of adverse effects associated with amphotericine B, and the last option, they increase the half-life of amphotericine B. The correct answer is three. They are given to reduce the severity of adverse effects associated with amphotericine B because amphotericine B can cause a number of serious adverse effects, including fever, chills, headache, or pretreatment with corticosteroid, antihistaminic, and antibiotics may reduce the severity of these adverse effects while the options, other options one and two are, and four are false. The last question in this video, a patient with diabetes treated with oral anti-diabetic medication is receiving oral fluconazole for treatment of long-standing tinea cruris, jock itch. The nurse will instruct the patient to monitor blood sugar more frequently while on this drug because of what potential drug effects. Let us see the drug interactions in the options. One fluconazole, diflucan, antagonizes the effects of anti-diabetic drugs. Or oh, fluconazole, diflucan, may increase blood sugar levels. Or oh, fluconazole may decrease blood sugar levels. And finally, fluconazole may enhance the effects of anti-diabetic drugs. Uh, I will be very, very, very uh, happy to see your comments in the last question. And least, uh, last but not least, thank you for watching and see you uh, in the next video. Thank you.